and girls, Mrs. Daniels here to teach you about a poll. So a poll is to record someone's opinion. So when you record someone's opinion, you can use it to help support your thesis. So my thesis is solar power is the best form of energy. So I want to ask people a question that will hopefully get them agree. Do you think solar power, power is the best form of energy? And so nine out of 10 people that I asked, I recorded it on a little T-chart, yes and no, if you can see that. Um, nine out of 10 people agree solar power is the best. So that supports my thesis. That's 90%. And another possible question might be, what do you think about solar power? So I can record their opinion. I like it. My son and I were talking. I said, what do you think about solar power? He said, I like it. It's eco-friendly, said Evan Daniels. So I could use his quote in my story, in my essay, rather. Sorry. Um, so my second thing that I could use do to support my essay is I could think about my reason. So one of my reasons is that solar power creates less pollution than oil, gas, or burned materials. That's one reason that I think solar power is the best. So I was thinking about questions. I might first ask, have you ever breathed in exhaust or fumes from cars or trucks? Well, what do you think about pollution like that? And it's awful. I choked. I couldn't breathe for a minute, said my mom. That truck needs to be off the road, said Dennis Daniels. We need cleaner energy, said Aaron For Forbes. I feel bad for the animals, said Jenda Phillip. So I can use these quotes to help support that reason when I'm writing that paragraph ab about just the reasons. So remember that when you poll someone, you're recording their opinion and you are using it to support your thesis and your reasons, one of your reasons. So think about your essay. Some of you are writing about uniforms. So think, what kind of question can I ask that I can poll people about? And I'd like you to post that question on Google Classroom and we can answer that question. So if it's a yes or no question, like mine that's on there for you to respond to is a yes or no question. All you have to do is type yes or no. But you might ask, what do you think about something? And that you would record, you know, people's responses and you might record a direct quote. Because remember from our great leads, you can use this information in your introduction. You could start with one of the questions that you asked and then answer it with someone's quote. Or you could begin with a startling statistic about what people think about, um, or you could also quote someone. Um, so I hope you remember that when you pull someone, it's to record their opinion and that you will come up with your question and post it on Google Classroom. Looking forward to seeing you all tomorrow at Zoom and have a good night. I miss you. Bye.